welcome back the next topic i think the last of this truth table things is about the valid and invalid statements a valid statement is um, a statement if you look at the book an argument is a sequence of statements and argument form is a sequence of statement form all statements in an argument and all statement forms in an argument form except for the final one are called premises anything if you have four columns p q r p r q and p and q then these are the constituents <clears throat> anything like that now these three these are the variables the variable statements and these are known as the constituents using these you build up some compound statements like this now these these are called the premises and using these you are finally building up a final statement a final result a final declaration that okay using these variables i build up some compound statements and using these compound statements finally i come to the conclusion that this is true or false these were the the constituents uh, we are not talking about the constituents anymore we are actually talking about the premises so if all the premises are true then such a row is called a critical row so make it make it now henceforth everything we are doing we, we, we will not talk about the constituents these are the constituents we are now jumped into the compound statement so we are, our concern is about the compound statements and now so far from here onward we will only consider the premises the compound statements those will be the premises the hypothesis and from those compound statements the final verdict is known as the conclusion so if all the premises are true such a row is called a critical row if such a row gives you a final true value in the conclusion as well means all the premises are true and the conclusion is also true then a statement is called a valid statement there are three steps first one is you have to identify the premises and conclusion so i already told you that pqr these are the constituents variables and then the compound statements as many there are given in the question these are in in these compound statements you have to select identify which are the premises it is further possible that some of the statements compound statements may also be treated as constituents so you have to identify that which are the premises for this conclusion <clears throat> second thing is construct the truth table without a critical row <clears throat> question is determine the validity of we have to construct one column for this one column for this one column for this he says these two are the premises p1 p2 and this is a conclusion to construct these first i need the constituents i need p q and r so i need a table for them and then still i can't jump to this statement so for to for to find this statement first i need to find some mini statements 
I have P. I need a negation of R. <coughs> then after negation, I need R statement between Q and negation of R. P, Q, R, negation R. Okay, so, I'm, so you, you need, okay, P and R I am putting here. Because you already know this, so I'm just putting it here. And finally, so I have this, and I have Q, so Q implies P and R, I can put it here. So I'm done. And finally, I have P, I have R, I can build up this relation directly. So it is P implies R, false value and so on. I'm done with all these. Now you have to identify that which are the premises. So this is a conclusion. It means this column is a conclusion. And these two are premise. So I will say that this section is premises. And before this section, all these things, for this case, they are only the constituents. I actually have to find out that which rows are valid. Here I have eight rows. I have to tell which are valid and which are not valid. So first I have to figure out which are the critical rows. The critical, the definition of a critical row is that all the premises should be true. So the first row is critical. The second row, both are true. So it is a critical row. Third row is not critical because both values are not true. So I'm not considering this row. Fourth row, it has both true values. So it is coming under that definition of critical row. First row is critical. Both values are true and the answer is also true. So this is a valid statement. Second, both true, but the answer is false. So this is an invalid statement. Third is not critical. We are not talking about it. Fourth is critical. So, and the answer is false. So it is again invalid statement. Okay. Yes. So you understand how and which rows will be discussed under the category of validity or invalidity. <clears throat> Must keep in mind that validity is only discussed if all the premises are under the definition of critical row. That's it. If the premises are not following the definition of a critical row, we are not talking about the validity.